Knock, knock. Who's there? We have some play in our hub. I feel the knock, knock through the frame. Knock, 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 knock. The brakes, the disc brake, it's gonna start rubbing. The rotor is gonna be shifting and you mentioned shifting. The shifting is gonna be off because the hub is gonna be going back and forth. You can't have shifty shifting. Time to fix the bike. Cowbell! We're at a high school mountain bike race and one of the riders has a loose hub. Whoops, whoops, look at that. Hey, I can turn that lock nut free. I am either the strongest mechanic in town or we didn't properly tighten that lock nut. That's our problem here. And as I stare off into the distance, let's drop in a snazzy hub graphic. So the lock nut is loose. Hence, the cone comes loose. The extra space allows the hub to rock back and forth. So all we need to do on this wheel is hold the cone in its correct place and tighten down the loose lock nut. But check it out, look at this. Here's the lock nut. The cone is down inside, I cannot get to it. It's recessed inside the free hub. What are we gonna do? We gotta flip the wheel and break free the other cone and lock nut. And I have to extend the axle like this. Break it free. I'm gonna back this lock nut way, way out. And now I can back out the cone as well, up to the lock nut. Again, this lets us effectively extend the axle, and now we have access to our cone. I can tighten down here and fix this right side tight. Yo, there we go. About a 15 Newton meter push. That is back in. Now I have to return this cone back down. And now a bearing adjustment. And for bearing adjustment, you don't want it too tight or too loose. We're searching for Goldilocks. Hold the cone, tighten the lock nut, and we check the adjustment. It feels smooth, a teeny bit of play. I feel a little, little bit of knocking. On this traditional 10 millimeter axle with threads, we actually have some flex in the threads. That play is gonna go away with proper skewer tensioning. So we're gonna put it in the bike and check it again. Fully closed. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nothing. Check the shifting. Check our brakes. Up to the call-ups and onto the race course. But the important thing we learned is you should do it right the first time. It's What's a... tight stays tight. Totally a preventable problem. Keep it tight and we'll see you on the trails next time. <laughs>